Alright, and hey there Proxians, and this is Proxify here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Shining Pearl Randomizer Nuzlocke. So if you guys missed out during the last episode, uh, so what has happened here is that we are now finally started to reach on over here to where Celestic Town is going to be. Uh, we just need to go and basically cross on through, uh, throughout this route, which I believe is known as Route 210. All we have left right now is that we got ourselves here, uh, with this veteran trainer, and I think once we actually do go and take care of that guy, we'll be finally be in with the narrow time in Celestic Town. And uh, not only that, but I believe within this episode as well too, we do have the battle with one of the Galactic Grunts that we actually have to go and uh, literally take on as well too in the process. And uh, I think we're also going to be meeting up with Cyrus uh, too. Now, if we do have a little bit of some extra more time, I wouldn't mind actually going and heading on over uh, to our way back over to where Heart Home City is and literally take care of Fantina. Uh, but with all that being said in mind, let's just go and do a little bit of a team recap and uh, let's see how everyone is doing. So we got ourselves Luffy at level 40 uh, with Flamethrower, Power Up Punch, Slack Off, and also with U-Turn. We also do have Maryland at level 39 with Aquatel, Bounce, Play Rough, and also with Rain Dance. We also do have Jet at level 36 with Growl, Pound, Sweet Kiss, and also with Life Dew. We also do have Drone at level 35 with Drain Punch, Bite, Sucker Punch, and also with Headbutt. We also do have Java as well at level 36 with Poison Power, Lead Seed, Petal Blizzard, and also with Growth. And we also can't forget about uh, Eevee as well too. Uh, Esper at level 23 with Swift Sand Attack, Quick Attack, uh, Baby Doll Eyes, and as well and uh, we are trying to get ourselves up into an espion so hopefully we can try and at least kind of pull that off uh now i may probably do some off record type of stuff with eevee may probably do like some little side battles to kind of like get eevee up into some more uh, extra levels to see if we can try and pull off ourselves uh with getting ourselves an espion uh but we'll see if we can uh, try and do this as well too while i'm recording as well but uh let's see what we got here Yep, so we got ourselves Veteran Brian. What's he going to be setting out for this time? Oh my god. Well, this is kind of scary. We got ourselves a Dialga, but I think we should be somewhat okay, I want to say. Uh, I don't know if uh, if Lanthor is going to be doing a lot, but we'll basically go and switch around with some Pokemon here. And we're just going to go and make sure that we bring out Marilyn instead. I don't really trust on having Luffy out there. I think Play Rush should be uh, hopefully somewhat pretty helpful for this. So Slash, that may probably hurt quite a bit. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought it was going to do a lot more. Well, that's all right. I think so. Metal Claw, ouch. That, hopefully he does not get an attack boost. That would be very scary. But let's try this out. Doesn't really do as much. But hey, at least uh, we got ourselves the attack bell, so that's pretty nice. So if it tries to go for another Metal Claw, at least it's not going to like do as much damage. All right, so that's not too entirely bad. We'll go for another Play Rough. And again, it doesn't really do as much either. Okay, so unfortunately we are out of play rust, but I guess we could try out an Aqua Tail. Maybe go set for a rain dance or something first. All right, nice. Then our quick call popped, so let's see what we could do with the rain dance. There we go, perfect. I just love how how uh, Azumarill or like Ampharos's like tail actually like glows when it starts to, like to attack. I think that's really kind of neat to kind of put like uh, more uh, more personality into like the actual Pokemon that's here. But uh, let's go and start for that Aquatel. And again, the Quick Call literally pops for another time. So that is perfect. All right. And I think with that being in mind... Oh, we're so close, dude. Ancient Power. So this so this freaking Dialga has all the freaking stops of all the different moves that are out here. He wants to try and boost up his attack. And not only that, but he does have Ancient Power to literally start boosting things up a little bit more. Well, that's not going to happen today, dude. I swear, if this man literally comes out and sends out his other mod that's going to be like a Palkia, I'm going to literally scream, dude, because I ran out of play rust and I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. Uh, we also got ourselves Hydro Pump. Ooh, that's a little bit better. Uh, I'll take, uh, I'll switch around with Hydro Pump and we'll uh, take out Aquatail because I'm pretty much certain I would not mind having that because that's going to be doing a little bit more better damage than what Aquatail actually does have. There we go, and now we're finally at level 24. Uh, I don't know if that's going to help us out, though, but... Alright, we got ourselves Iggly buff. Well, we know what to do. We're just going to completely destroy this thing with the Hydro Pump, so let's go. Oh, what? And you avoid the attack? Come on. Oh, and then we also just get ourselves uh, all uh, confused up now at this point, too. So we do have to go and switch on out. Uh, let's go and switch. Uh, we'll bring out Joan. We'll try out a Drain Punch. Hopefully this can be a little bit better. Now, I know that this Igly buff is going to probably be still fairy typing, right? It's not going to be like normal typing or anything. Hmm. 
Well, let's go and see if this is going to happen. I think we should be able to just go and knock out this Igloo buff, no problem. And there we go. Ah, well, at least we got a little bit of health back, but that's pretty nice. But disable, ah, oh, well, that's just going to be not cool at all. Now my drain punches are now going to be disabled. But I do have bite, though. It should be able to do a little bit more now. Come on. Oh, uh, what? Man, this Igloo buff is still alive. And it also goes for another sweet kiss. Jeez. Now, uh, also as well, too, guys, you will be seeing a Final Fantasy IX episode as well. Uh, we are, of course, going to be j diving in into some more of the Tetra Master uh, little card game that's going to be going on uh, for Final Fantasy IX. Uh, I'm actually going to go and literally take care of the other two other uh, tournament uh, mini games uh, for that time. I'm not going to go and show that off to you guys because it's going to be a very annoying type of process. And I don't think you guys really want to see me have to go through that. And even if I do get myself like all screwed over or anything like that that all right yeah we're still disabled at this point uh come on joe just break on out please thank you and just knock out this pidgey oh nice we actually got a flinch off as well uh we'll try out a sucker punch we'll see if that can kind of pull out a little bit better oh uh, we hurt ourselves great thanks a lot joan whirlwind all right well that should be somewhat helpful let's see what we can pull out for our next pokemon Oh, Meryl. Alright. Uh, or or Meryl Land, I should say. Okay. Let's uh, go start for a super post. We'll just kind of play this a little bit nicer. At least now we're not confused with Meryl Land anymore. So that's uh, pretty nice there. And let's just watch out for Feather Dance. Uh, so what's that going to do? Lower my speed or something? Or lower my attack? Lower my attack. Okay. Well, now my Hydro Pump is not going to do as much. But let's set up. Well, let's see if we can still knock it out with the Hydro Pump, even though that is going to lower my attack, though. Quick attack. Ouch. Uh, you know what? Hydro Pump, let's go. There we go. Just absolutely obliterate out the Pidgey it should be. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, even if you want to try to lower my attack, I'm still going to literally destroy you either way there, Pidgey. All right. And that is perfect. And we defeated out the Veteran Trainer. So the only one mod that was somewhat pretty much scary out of everything was that Dialga on his team. But at least now we went and taking care of that. And we're finally at a Route 210 as well. Uh, so let's see. Ah, perfect. Don't want to forget about these citrus berries though. Because I would not mind picking those up in the process. Okay. And now we are finally here. Welcome to Celestic Town. Uh, after that annoying nightmarish area. Uh, if you ever decided not to use the defog. It would actually be... Uh, Way more nightmares than it would actually have to be, but let's go and finally get everything healed up. Now, I'm pretty certain there is a randomized hidden item somewhere around here, and I do want to go and make sure to literally pick that up, and that was a little bit weird. <laughs> seemed like uh, each time that, that uh, Nurse Story put down the Pokeball, it seemed like uh, my game got a little bit glitched up there, <laughs> but it's all good. Yeah, I know it's going to kind of happen uh, here and there somewhat, but unfortunately, I can't really go and uh, do anything about it, though. Okay, so yeah, so this, uh, so I believe that is Cynthia's grandmother and talking about, uh, what, there should be a, uh, hmm, well, let me see here, hold on, Azumaro, you're kind of blocking my spot here, there's supposed to be a King's Rock somewhere in this area, well, unless if there, well, unless it was not here in this, uh, type of game, though, maybe not, okay, I think that's probably just only in Pokemon Platinum then or something. But I know in one of these houses, though, there is something that we can go and do. And uh, I don't think it's this one, but it could be the, probably the bigger house. Let me see. May I help you? Let's see. Ah, yes. So this is basically our mart here. So we can literally go and buy extra more super posts, which I think I wouldn't mind doing. Just add in just a little bit more. And I think I also went and bought uh, hyper potions, I think, a little bit a while back when I was in Bellstone. And I just want to make sure if that is something I did. No, I did not. Okay. Maybe Hyper Potions were a little bit too much. Maybe that's why. Okay, well, at least we got extra more Super Potions. I don't think we really do need Hyper Potions right away just yet. Because we're not going over to uh, Byron's place all the way. Okay, now I think this has something uh, to probably do with Dialga and Palkia there. I'm not really too entirely sure. But at least we went through the Mart. Got some extra Super Potions. Now, also, too, we got ourselves Route 211. So let's go and grab ourselves an encounter over here, though. Before we go and worry about the Team Galactic guy. And it's a fortress. Wow, though, this is a pretty unique Pokemon that I hardly ever got to use all that too much, even in a Nuzlocke as well. 
I know that I think before, uh, like maybe in my Pokemon uh, Heart Gold randomizer or my Pokemon Soul Silver randomizer, I know that we came across a Pineco uh, before. Oh, right. And I also got some uh, Dust Balls and Great Balls. Uh, so we're going to see if we can throw down a, a Dust Ball first and uh, try this guy out and see if we can go and pick him up pretty quickly. One, two. Come on, Fortress. Oh, what? Oh, that's going to be annoying. All right. Well, take down. I don't think it's going to do as much. But at least it's going to recoil itself a little bit. Okay, let's try out one more Pokeball before I go and start trying to uh, start doing some damage. But maybe an Ultra Ball could probably work. If a Dust Ball doesn't work, maybe an Ultra Ball. Alright, hold down the B button. Alright, come on. Come on, hold down the B button. Oh, yeah. Hold down the B button. Some what works sometimes, but this time it actually did. So perfect. Alright. So what in the heck am I going to name you, Fortress? Uh... Now, I think, what, what are you, like a bug and steel type of Pokemon? But I don't really... Uh, let's see. I wonder if anything on the nickname, uh, on the nickname uh, Generator out here has anything for a Fortress. Uh, Fortress nickname. I don't know. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, no, I don't really like any of those. Um... I think let's just call him Surge why not I know he's not Lieutenant Surge but we're just gonna call him Surge there you go welcome to the team Surge well not to the team but welcome to the PC box I should say because I don't know if I'm gonna ever use you but at least we got ourselves a steel type mod if we ever do need it but I think as well too all my Pokemon are all uh fully healed up and ready to go so let's see what we can do here with this galactic run this town is, 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 is insignificant but there's nothing of value here but it doesn't need to exist so i'll blow it up with a galactic bomb well that's what you guys were trying to play it out to do over at the safari zone but i guess it didn't really happen but now you guys want to try and do it here too all right well this guy really shouldn't be too difficult and at least a good thing here is that since we're not playing Pokemon Platinum, we don't really have to go and really worry about some... Oh, wow, that's kind of funny. We literally just found a fortress, and now we got ourselves a, uh, a Pineco here. Well, this is going to be an easy battle. Like, one good flamethrower is going to be uh, able to knock you out here pretty fast. There we go. And I think that literally takes care of Pineco. What? And this man has sturdy. Come on, dude. Get that out of here. Automize. Well, that's not going to really help you out all that too much. Because I think I'm still going to be a little bit more faster than what you are going to be, right? Yep. And I still am. So, play it over. See you later, Pineco. Yeah, the only time that I think you could ever find Pinecos, I think, are, like, normally sometimes uh, around in any of the trees. And they're kind of, like, a really hard Pokemon to, to literally find within the trees. Because I think both, like, uh, Heracross and I think... A uh, well, not Apom. I, I think Apom is actually a little bit easier. Easier to find. No, but uh, Pyco and um, the other uh, the other Mon that I just talked about, uh, not not Apom, but uh, Heracross, are like pretty hard. They're literally fine within those games. There you go. Esper's now at level 25, but I'm pretty certain that we weren't... Oh, well, we got ourselves Bite now, so that's a little bit better. Uh, let's forget about Sand Attack. I don't think we really do need that move at all right now. It would be nice to kind of go and lure out some Pokemon's accuracy, but... I don't think we really do need that. I kind of just need a little bit of some better moves. There we go. And that's already went and taken care of out of that. So perfect. So that Galactic Grunt is out of here. And now it's time to go and uh, finally head on inside uh, into the cave now. And actually see the this, well, see the little uh, scriptures about all this stuff with the... Uh... Yep, and there's the old charm. So we already know that that's Cynthia's grandmother there. So let's go and check out with the uh, with the Lake Trio stuff that's going on from this point. Now, also as well too, I did finally get myself uh, Pokey Park Two. It actually did arrive here at the house. Uh, now, I also did went and uh, sent you guys a uh, a Twitter message uh, out on my Twitter. So if you guys haven't went and uh, checked out on my Twitter, um, I think everything in the description uh, for all my different videos that I already have are all like uh, like I have all my social media uh, type of stuff so that you guys can always go and uh, check out uh, with Twitter and whatnot that goes on. Uh, but I already went and told you guys like the next uh, series that's going to be happening. Uh, right on after Shining Pearl Rando, uh, Rando Lock that we're going to be doing. 
And that, of course, is going to be Poke Park 2, which uh, I'm pretty excited about. And uh, I think I already went and kind of explained about most of these things, I think, within the live stream uh, from before with Sonic Unleashed. So I don't really have to go and explain it about it again. But Oh, and there's Cyrus right there. So it appears to have been an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should a step back and view things in a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective of one that is on the universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a new world, a world without strife. Hmm. Well, however, that power seems to be unavailable here, but we have met before, yes? It was in Mount Cornet. If you discover any power dried from the Legends of Sinnoh, inform me. Okay, then. Uh, for that power is what I need to create my new world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be meeting up with Cyrus a little bit later. But for right now, we need to go back to Hartholm. Okay. Well, it was fun while it was lasted here at Celestic Town. There's not really too much to really go all about, but... Back to heart home we go, and uh, I think, judging by the time that I'm looking at right now, I don't think I'm going to be able to have enough time to literally go and take care of Pantina's gym right away, so we'll have to hold this off until the next episode. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we will be going and uh, taking care of Fantina's gym. Uh, I don't think for me personally, I'm not going to really go and bother about uh, worrying about the trainers. We're just going to have to go through the mouth calculations uh, to literally go and bow out with Fantina anyways. But we'll be uh, doing that uh, within the next episode. But I'll see you guys then. And of course, peace.